Do I use an audio interface or just a USB mic? No, I use a USB mic. I would really like to get an audio interface, and if I did it all over again, that's what I would have done in the first place. I would have gotten an XLR mic with, like, a mixing station or something like that. But initially, when I bought this microphone, it was because I had the intention to do a legal podcast. So I picked up a decent but inexpensive microphone so that I could play around with it and thought, you know, if this ever goes somewhere, I'll get another one in the future. I'm not opposed to the idea of picking up a second microphone. I would love to have two. So it's not one of those things of like, ugh, I'd be replacing this one. I would be using both. Still. Hey, welcome back, Bacon Eater. Think I've never seen a Fruit Bats Master Sword run live? I very rarely do them. Very, very rarely. All of the Master Sword runs we've done lately have been uh, one-hit knockout runs, which, although fun, are, are not going to be a new P. Oh, you know what I should do? This is what I should do. I should always make sure my one-hit knockout Master Sword PV is ahead of KZ's regular Master Sword PV. That's how I would be. That's how I'd be doing it. If you got a new one, what would you use the old one for? Well, if ever I needed a two-microphone setup for something, I would have that ability. It would be mostly useful in recording situations, not so much in streaming situations. But if I wanted to get really super technical, I suppose, I could not worry about ambient sound effects and use one mic to pick up my voice and the other mic to pick up everything else so that I could use noise cancellation. It would be mostly for recording situations, though. Hey, Dragon Fox Kid, how you doing? Rode NT1A mic is awesome and great value, around 200 euro. Oh, not bad. So that's what, like, I don't know how the euro compares to the dollar now. It's like one and a half euro to the dollar? Wait, other way around? So like $300? 300 USD? Do I get... I can't remember if you get Boomerang in Master Sword. Do you usually get Boomerang in Master Sword? No, I can't remember. I guess so. 230 USD. Oh, that's not bad then. I'm really happy with the deal I got on this one. It's a Samson C01U, which is the USB version, that I got for under 100 bucks that came with the shock mount that it's mounted on, the uh, uh, floor stand that it's mounted on, and the pop filter that I'm speaking through as well. All for under 100 bucks. And, you know, professional audio engineering software that is like 400 years old. Audacity, way better. So... In fact, the software they sent me, the most recent operating system it worked with, was XP. So, no. You do get boom. Alright, thank you, Blood Honey. I figured you do. There's not that much of a time save for skipping it. And the time you lose just... Well, I guess you don't do Aghanim's Tower. But the time you lose in Tower of Hera alone... Seems like it would be big enough. Still need an audio interface? Oh yeah, for sure. What I don't know is I'm pretty sure there's an XLR to USB converter that you could get. Is there a USB to XLR converter? I believe there isn't. But if I did get an audio mixer or some kind of interface for a new XLR mic that I had, would I be able to plug this USB one into it as well? Are there ones with USB inputs or are there converters I could use? I hope so. Yeah, and that's the other thing that's really hard for me, Rakistan, too, is that looking at information for what type of microphone I want to get was really hard, because they were talking about, you know, picking up vocals, but they were talking about singing. And picking up spoken word is different than picking up singing, because it's just different. It's just different. So it was really hard for me to get information on a good 
uh, speaking microphone. Ouch, I just hit my knuckle on the desk. Might need phantom power. Oh, yeah, I'm sure, but that's fine. Or are you talking... How do you mean? Get it for consistency purposes? Oh, yeah. Same reason I like to whip my mashed potatoes. For consistency purposes. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of that joke. Well, this was a reasonably good escape. Made slightly worse by that stupid rat. But if 601 is a gold, if 601 is a gold by two seconds, I haven't run this in a really long time. Although, it does make sense that I would get a big golden escape, considering I'm cutting out a lot of dialogue. I'm also not getting the heart piece right here. I'll get it, uh, before Tower of Hera, probably. It's hard, though, because I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> where the locations I want to go to in Japanese are. This is one of my favorite parts of the game, this walk, because you never do this part in any percent. And just walking, it's relaxing. Not having to dash and just walk is so much slower. You get to see the scenery. Once you start having to dash, it's so much more stressful. Though I guess good runners make the walking part stressful too, because they do pumping. What a bunch of fools, am I right? Oh. Don't think you can use a USB mic with analog equipment. Ah, darn. Also can't do analog to digital without a converter. You also need, uh, 48 volts. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, I suppose I've got plenty of USB ports, so I could plug a USB mic into it. I wouldn't be able to use any of the benefits that the interface would give me, but... Yeah, maybe I wouldn't have as much use for this mic as I was hoping. Excuse me. lead singer of a semi-popular progressive band. Me and my friend have a recording studio. He's got a master's degree in audio engineering. You know what you're talking about? That's pretty impressive. Really, the, the degree of audio stuff that I learned was just for the purposes of, like, knowing how to properly balance audio and, you know, apply software compression to it and how to do proper noise removal and how to look at... Uh, the waveforms and make decisions about, you know, this part needs to be a little bit quieter, this part needs to be a little bit louder. A lot of stuff that I don't do when I'm streaming, of course, because there's no processing of this audio. This is raw out of the microphone. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's still stuff I wanted to try to learn. I've tried running a software audio interface, which exists. But unfortunately, the longer it runs, the longer the delay becomes on it. So by the end of the stream, it ends up being like, you know, dubbed looking. You should do some damageless low percent run sometime. Up to Master Sword if that makes it easier. Would be fun to see you do that again. Yeah, for sure. Those runs are kind of fun. I'm up for doing another one. Oops, that's okay. Okay, guys, we don't need to get into an argument about things, though. 
I agree with you, Palm Life. I think you've, you've both made your good points. Unfortunately, I don't know enough about the topic to really lend anything to it. But probably not the best forum for it. All right, this could be a really good Eastern Palace if Armos Knights go well here. I would love to pick up another gold. Ah, uh, though I did mess up the fight, so we might not. Tried to sneak in a hit on him before he turned red, but he still turned red. Nonetheless, I mean, that was an error, but it was a really fast recovery, and we're gonna save a lot of time. Remembered... It, when I saw you boomerang the blue guard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's an easy one to get you killed, for sure. I almost saved and quit, but we don't do that. Have to get the boots first. The boots and cats and boots and cats. Hey, Sigurik, nice to see you. How you doing? No, I have no reason to get anything behind him. Alright. What about mushrooms and badgers? A badger, 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 badger. I remember, oh. There was such a, like real huge part of my childhood and part of like earlier internet culture that still exists because the people who were part of that still exist on the internet but it's amazing how the internet shifts in terms of like what's the dominant form of entertainment and how those stupid like badger 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 we would watch over and over and over again and now we've got like live streaming I can't even imagine what the dominant form of entertainment on the internet will be in the next 10 years. I'm trying to figure out from the math, I guess I can't, whoops, I guess I can't because of all the save and quitting, but I'm trying to figure out how much time I have potentially to save in Desert Palace. My timer tells me I've got nine seconds to save, but this is assuming that the gold we have is unbeatable. We were very close to gold in Eastern Palace despite some pretty substantial mistakes, so we could really genuinely gold all of these segments if we want to do a few Master Sword runs today. Hey, Jamie Lannister. Jamie Lannister is lurking. That's actually a little bit frightening to me. Oh, but you're heading out, Jamie? All right, take it easy. Now my sister will be safe. That joke doesn't even make sense with the context of the story. It makes no sense. Don't laugh. I encourage you to not find my humor enjoyable at all. Most of the jokes that I make are purely for my own entertainment. I'm selfish. Just notice the 601 escape? Yeah, Rojo. We could usually get it faster than that, but... I mean, not usually. We could- OH! Why? 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 May have overreacted. Like Never using anything that specifically requires three monitors. Yeah, I'm still on a one monitor setup. I have a friend who um, has a spare monitor that he wants to give to me that I just haven't gotten yet. <laughs> I'm also kind of delaying on it because I want to figure out something nice to do for him because he's just giving it to me. So I want to like, I don't know. I feel like getting a six pack of beer for him is too simple. 
he's into board games, but I think if I give him a board game in exchange, then it's just too much like... I, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a good, just like, casual, like, Oh, hey, thanks, let me throw this to you as well. But I just can't think of anything good to give him. Hey, <laughs> thanks, Brandon Iron. Hey, Hoss the Boss, how you doing? My child will be safe now. Yeah, that would be a much more topical Jamie Lannister joke. Topical. Much more sensical Jamie Lannister joke. Oh man, Jamie Lannister slam? Totally topical. You know what's in the news right now? Game of Thrones. Season 1. Yeah, I was considering that, Jamie. I is considering he's married and his wife just gave birth to their child. I don't know if he would so appreciate it. Certainly be a lot easier than a six pack of beer though. Cheaper too. Make him a nice dinner? I mean, I I don't know of a good way to do that. I'm not that good of a cook, so making somebody a nice dinner is more like a chore for them than it is a gift for them. Okay, yeah, I lost track of where those hits went, so I have no real idea where I am here. Oh, shoot. That explosion threw my timing off slightly. Otherwise, that Lanma would have died on that cycle instead of that cycle. Overall, pretty good. I think we're going to save some time. Definitely think we're going to save some time. Now you're really finishing the lurking. All right, Jamie. Take it easy. Yep, that was pretty good. Now, I get this heart. I think. I think that's the right way to do that. Nope! Scoosy. No, 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 no! No, stop it! Stop it! Okay, I cannot afford to take damage before... Uh, oh, shoot! What am I just saying? I cannot afford to take damage before Death Mountain, because Death Mountain is going to do a number on me already. So I don't want to be one heart down, but I've been one heart down heading into Hera before. That's not that shocking. We're fine. Whew. Although a few of my jokes deserve a face palm. Hey, I don't blame you. Glowed! Yeah, we picked up two golds. We've been saving time in every segment, so clearly a personal, a new personal best in this category is going to be pretty easy. I'm not necessarily going to get it this run through. A lot is going to depend on how Moldorm goes, and really to how Death Mountain itself goes, but... But we're set up well, at least. What the heck is that creature under the rock spitting rupees out of its back? Yeah, it's a weird one, right? I don't know. It's called like a rupee beetle or something, I think. This sucks. Didn't even get spin speed. Spent a lot of time on that ladder, but did not get spin speed out of it. Gotta eat. All right, Thunderscore. Have a good one. What percent is this? No, this is, um, this is Master Sword which allows any percent. There's no percent restriction. So even though the category itself is just Master Sword, it's an any percent Master Sword. So we're allowed to get stuff if we want it, like that heart that I picked up. Alright, I don't like the damage that I've taken. Ultimately, I don't want to flip any of the safety switches in Hera because the timing is so tight in Master Sword that slight safeties early actually matter. Up. Nope. 
I really... I, you know what I'm going to do tonight? I'm going to edit the rest of the Link to the Past tutorial that I'm now done filming. You know what else I'm going to do tonight? I'm going to learn how to do this room the cool way. It's just an item dash. It's an item dash with an extra movement that has to be applied to it. I could do that. I just need to practice it a couple of times and I'll be able to do it. I've just never done it before, so I don't think I could just do it on the fly right now. But I really ought to learn how to do that. Even though I do like doing the room that way. It'll change it from being a room that requires attention to a room that doesn't. Which would be pretty sweet. If anything in Zelda makes absolutely no sense, like those weird under-rock rupee beetles, yeah. Always assume that... Assume that it's uh, some reference to a uh, Japanese cultural reference. Oh yeah, like the earthquake catfish, exactly. I would have never thought about the earthquake catfish being a Japanese reference, if not for the fact that it appears in this game and in Lufia too. So it was like, yeah, clearly there's some kind of catfish create earthquakes story in Japan. No bomb jump here, thankfully. I don't know why I'm unsure about that. Get a couple of hearts, just because I think this is going to be a... It's going to be a PB if I don't, like, fall to Muldor. Which is totally possible. Most of this run is, uh, this category is, how good was your Landmo fight? I mean, your Moldorm fight. Well, and your Landmo fight. Okay! Pretty good! Now I save and quit after this to where? To Sanctuary, that's gonna be the middle one. But yeah, this is probably gonna be a good PB. We might even get sub-23. Probably not, but we might. All right. I'm a little disappointed that wasn't a gold Hera, though. It could have been. Now, this is actually one of the most intense spots of the Master Sword run for me. Because... You're not really doing... It's like just jogging in at this point. But there's still things that can go wrong. So you're just hoping you don't do anything ridiculously stupid. Okay. Did a few stupid things, but I don't think anything ridiculously stupid. Wound up losing time in that segment, though. Losing a fair bit of time, that's the only segment we lost time in. So, apparently that was a really bad Master Sword. I've done a better Master Sword run than that before by four seconds, but... Hey! 23-22 is the new Master Sword PB! Woo!